signs. What is a sign? Is this a sign? How about this? If it is, then what does it mean? All this and more on today's episode of Let's Talk About Communication. Semiotics, or the study of signs, is best laid out by Roland Barthes, who not only describes what signs are, but how they work. He divides semiotics into four parts, which amount to signs, systems, language, and meaning. Let's jump in. Every sign consists of a signifier and a signified. The signifier is something that indicates a signified. The signified stands for a real thing. In language, we use the word pencil as a signifier for our notion of pencil. Signs don't have to be descriptive of a physical thing, however. The word hope indicates a feeling which has a real meaning, even though it doesn't refer to a real object. The key thing to remember is that all signs must reference something else. This ties into polysemy or signs with multiple meanings. Emojis are a great way to illustrate polysemy because many of them have come to symbolize something beyond what they literally depict. This further illustrates how meaning is made, because no one sat down and said the B emoji stands for Beyonce. Rather, the two ideas continued being used together, and now the same sign stands for both of those things. Companies use semiotics in a practical sense. A great example comes from the delivery company FedEx, which has an arrow in their logo, a sign that many would agree stands for forward motion, speed, and navigation. All ideas that apply to package delivery in a positive way. Amazon goes the extra mile by having an arrow and a smile in their logo, doubling up on the power of signs. In conclusion, virtually everything is a sign. Knowing this opens up whole new avenues of thinking and understanding in our everyday lives. And what could be more important than that? <laughs>